there's a blueprint. This story that's unfolding on the planet, what governments are doing right now, what organizations are doing, there's a blueprint for this. We know what the end goal of this blueprint is. We've read it in many, many official documents. It's not hidden. But the point here is that we are not bound to their blueprint. It's not my blueprint. It's, it's most likely not your blueprint. None of us have thought, have thought about this or want this. So why do we behave as if we are somehow tied to this? Aren't you a free being? Weren't you born with the same rights, with the same inalienable gifts? Weren't you born in the same energy as everyone else of having freedom of choice and deciding on what your life's going to look like and how you can create it? You were born with those freedoms and it's time to realize that again. There is no nation, there is no company, no organization, no government, no anyone who has the authority or the right to force you into any action or force you into any way of living or force you into anything that you don't want. It's our time to realize that again. It's our time to take back that power and live it. This is not a violent power. Only if you want to impose your will uh, on others and force your way into their lives, you need violence. For, for what we're talking about, you'll never need violence because we don't want to impose our will on others. We just want our freedoms to be respected. We just want our self-responsibility for our lives to be respected and seen. And you got to make it seen because all the others that are forcing this other thing, they're making themselves seen and heard. So you have to be seen and heard too. And again, this never happens through violence. It would violate everything that we stand for if we would ever, ever encourage violence. It's love, it's strength, it's vision, it's power, it's kindness, it's cooperation, and it's peaceful non-compliance. Anything that you do not align with, anything at all, don't comply with it. Step into a new vision. There will be a possibility, a potential. There will be another way for you. You cannot do things in fear of negative consequences. That's a downward spiral. So peaceful non-compliance and stepping into the vision, what's that for you? And if you haven't answered those questions, maybe it's time. What do I really desire in my life? What does a beautiful reality for me and my family look like? You know, how do I want to live? Do I want to be on someone else's schedule or on my own schedule? Do I want to thrive or do I want to survive? Answer those questions for yourself and, and throw realism out the door for a minute here because realism was invented by those who wanted you to live in their reality. That's the realism they talk about. Realism was invented by those who wanted you to live in their reality. Now, set your own standards. Create your own vision. Step into it because this moment, this period that's coming that we're galloping towards, it's going to require us to be clear on that. It's going to require from us to be strong and to be, to be in, a, in a state of knowing, not limbo, not doubt, not worry, not fear, not anxiety, but in a state of purity, of knowing this is who we are. This is what we stand for. This is our path. It's very, very important. It's in our hands now. It always has been, we just didn't realize it. So we keep coming back, you know? We keep reincarnating, coming to new lives to seize another opportunity to realize this, that we are the forgers, the creators of our destinies. Mm -hmm.